Hello and welcome to Indoor Gaming back in Life in the Village. And we're in the Millionaire Village. And these apparently are called uh, Millages. Just uh, to differentiate them from regular villages. One thing I uh, didn't show you last time, the Chevalier here is like the head of the village. And he gives you your status. So you can see here I'm still a stranger. I haven't done enough for them to, to, to be sort of affiliated or liked so it tells me I can't I'm not available I can't get any of these houses they don't like me enough yet I've got to sell them more things or do more quests can't purchase scrolls so you can run through here but what I do have available is I can affect their relationships remember I was talking about their diplomacy so I can actually poison that eh, slander them or, or praise them and, and lift things up and, and help with some of the affiliations which will affect whether they fight each other or not. And I wanted to show you uh, these boards here. Oh, I did look at it briefly before showing you some of the details but you can actually get more information uh, from them if you right click. So this is telling you um, these are the what they want this for is the fortress so I can see exactly how much they want, what they need, so basically they just want stone here at the, this point uh, and some spruce wood. It says one of two but I can't actually, oh there we are and it's showing you what's in stock. It's what they're doing they don't have. So you can see see all of that laid out for you in, in with one click and there's no construction in process because they don't have enough stuff to do it. But this is the list of things they want to do. So after they do the fortress, they want to do the guardhouse. And then they want, a, I think, a second guardhouse. And in a carpenter's house. Now, if I get enough reputation to purchase a house from them, then my, my house would go on that list as well. Got the map. And this shows you what they, where they can build and where they can't build. Uh, at this point in time, and this is my little house over here. So that's what they've done, and uh, so they obviously that's too rocky or whatever they can't build there. But if I flatten that out for them, that actually becomes buildable. Or if I block this out, put in some stone or dirt or whatever, they'd be able to build there as well. So you get that you can you can help them out in that respect. And yeah, that just gives that explanation. So we can see here uh, who's fighting for them, that sort of thing, the population, and so on. Uh, oh, there's one children. So they're already starting to grow, which is great. And building projects, yeah, like I said, the large fort, and so on and so forth, all in there. Uh, and I just want to let you know that most of the information I've gotten about Millionaire I actually got from uh, a series by a YouTuber called Fella Noel and I'll include a link in the description if you want to learn more uh, he goes into more detail than what I've just given you and um, and also just a recognition that I learned what I've learned from from him okay so yeah yeah okay so can you get out of the doorway please I can't escape wants to sell me so there we go so I can be an active participant in helping this grow them they'll grow eventually themselves but I can make it a lot quicker if I participate and give them what they need so if I give them some stone uh, I just grab a cobblestone and I'll run back here have this cobblestone Oop. and spruce wood now they'll have a lumberjack that'll be collecting spruce wood, but it's not a very wooded area here, so it'd definitely be quicker for them if I did it. I'll be right there, so they'll come back and they'll do that. A lot of fun to see it grow and to participate and, and, and also also to help influence what's going on. So if I went in and uh, like wanted to see some battle and I could poison that relationship day after day, I'd get five, f five influences a day that would help. See here's somebody delivering some resources now. And they've got a, some quests today. Where where'd she go? Oh it's night time. They go straight to bed. Doesn't matter what they're doing, straight to bed. It's night time. I'm out of here. <laughs> Don't want what you want. And yeah, the villages. I'm not sure I talked about the villages. You can trade with these um, folk. Sometimes they have good stuff. But each time you trade I think you've got to trade with them th three times to unlock 
uh, their full in inventory and sometimes that includes diamonds you can buy diamonds off them so it's well worth cultivating some of those relationships uh, for that reason okay so uh, what I might do before the next video oh actually I'll show you one last thing um, the good thing about having all these cows around is that they poop <laughs> Ooh. Uh, um, I do not want to fight those guys because they've all got special stuff and um, I don't want to know about that Sometimes they set you on fire, and yeah, I get out of there before it's night time, and they get aggro. Yeah, the the cows drop manure, hey, and you say, well, what use is that? Well, obviously manure is obviously going to be fertilizer and so on, but there's also actually a quest. Quest helps. Uh, here, yay! <laughs> and if I get enough, I can get a block of manure and get some more bottle of enchanting so it definitely explore your quest lines uh, it can help you advance through the game but also it can be fun to see what's available uh, now I don't have enough iron yet yeah what I might do next time is uh, before I record I'll go and get a bunch of that spruce wood that they're looking for and see if I can't improve my reputation somewhat and show you what that unlocks and uh, okay, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.